Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Uh, We have rain, and then it's going to uh, be like a little bit of sun maybe, and then more rain and kind of unsettled and maybe about 68. A lot cooler today, Candy. A lot better. That's good. I like to hear that. Yeah. Uh, And then the rest of the week, not bad. You may have a touch of rain on Friday, but I'll tell you what, the weekend setting up nice again so love it yeah be about 75 over the weekend nice that's uh, perfect looks dry and uh and, dry I am. you know oh. leah on set yeah please on saturday uh coming up leah has uh one of these band competitions again oh, another one where there, is this there's a whole bunch of them it's called hamia h-m-e-a and it's it takes place in uh, in the ha- I think Hampton Bay's high school actually. Oh, so you don't have to go far. And they do it out on the field, so that's pretty cool. We get what to seventy five. Yes, it is. Bring our beach chair and sit out and relax and whatever whatever we're doing. By the way, if you're just joining the show, it's been a doozy so far. We found out that Candy's son uh, Evan has COVID for the second time. Yes. Uh, but that's to be expected after he just returned from a five day trip to Pensacola, Florida. Yes. Where. He wasn't just walking on the boardwalk. And no, he rel- wasn't going to early bird dinners. No, he was partying with the best of them out there on the beach in oh, Pensacola. Yeah, I, 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 I. yeah so uh, it yeah. is what it is. Had but- a return, Otis. They're all back. They're together again. Yeah. I left my mask on the entire time. I'm in the Uber. And I'm going. I'm going to wear this mask. I'm going to wear this mask. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Until I get back home. I don't blame you. In the Uber, into the city, going to drop the dog off. Yes. And all the way back home. And I hate that. Yeah, good. Well, you did it. uh, I did it. I was trying to be cautious. I understand. Uh, uh, Candy, this is your day. Uh, There's a few things. Uh, National Go Barefoot Day. I am barefoot right now. I am always barefoot unless I have to walk on dirty sidewalks you were barefoot at woodstock you know what what i was 10 i know you were 10 but in my mind you were there on the hill in, in the rain in my mind i was there on the hill in the rain <laughs> I know. it's going in the book the story about the peanut butter and jelly sandwich is that you helicoptered in it's a great story it's a you know great everyone story. loves that story if you're ever in a crowd you really don't know anyone that good and then someone brings up what you say oh i have an Oh, all of a sudden you're the star of the party. It's a great story. It's you have. a good one. I'm writing that book. I swear I'm writing a book. Um, it is National Hazelnut Cake Day. Okay. Yeah. That's good for me. I don't mind hazelnut. Uh, it's National Heimlich Maneuver Day today. I've never performed it, nor had it performed on me. But uh, I hope if I ever do, I do it correctly. And if someone does it to me, they do it correctly. I vaguely remember swallowing a uh like an old school sucking candy you know they call them uh, the whatever you know, i used to call them sucking candies did you call mm-hmm. them that right yes okay i i when i was a kid and getting it stuck and i still remember what the candy looked like exact like i could point it out in a crowd and that's how it stuck with me and i believe my mother uh performed the heimlich or somehow got i don't know how she did it but she got the candy out of my throat your to ask mother her. is superwoman yes and I want a text from my father with my mother's description because she must remember. I remember like it was yesterday that I had that. And I still, to this day, have a fear of uh, choking when I'm alone or my kids uh, having an issue, Candy. Still have oh. an irrational fear oh, about it. I understand that. Yes, I wow. do. Wow. I don't I think know we've that had... story. That's yeah. a story I've never heard before. I know. I don't think wow. we've <laughs> A brand new story from you. I'm impressed. I thought I knew everything about you. Every luckily, single little detail. Luckily, it's National Heimlich Maneuver Day. Yes, it is. Yes, I, I, I'm. Yes, I tell you, I have an irrational fear, and I use the word irrational because I completely I, get it. Though I think about it a lot. Yes, when I, when I'm eat like here, here's just a random thing. I was home for five days. My family was in Delaware. At one point, I was eating, I don't know what, it was steak or a roast beef sandwich or something, and I said to myself, man, I better slow down, because if I choke right now... No one will save um, you. Right, I'm done. Where am I going to go? The dogs are not saving you. I think about it all the time. You know what they're going to do? Eat you when you're dead. Oh, (laughs) jeez. 
<laughs> not my little Lucy and Millie. They would never. Right, girls? It never. No way. Uh, National Nail Polish Day today. Oh, I have a lovely shade of pink on. You know, and I know we've talked about this before, but I would think it would be fun when you're going to get your nails done to pick out your color off the wall like you do. You go to the big wall and you pick your yes. nail polish you want. Yes, yes. That's got to be fun. It is fun. Yeah. It's relaxing. Yeah. It's me time. I don't talk on the phone. Yeah. I don't do anything. I sit quietly in my own head. I it looks love fun. it. Looks mm-hmm. fun. It it's is fun. National Olive Day. I love olives. Olives are one of my favorite foods. I'm yeah. not going to lie. I, I love olives. I do love olives. And I was at a restaurant. It's like a, a, a fancier chain. It's called Olives. And there was, I don't know if it's still there. It used to be one in the Bellagio in Vegas. And when you sit down, they give you a bucket of bread and crackers and all these different crushed olives, Candy. Mm. So nice. Um, National Say Something Nice Day today. I love you. I love you, too. There you go. It's done. It's World Reef Awareness Day today. Yes, let's all be aware. And you're not allowed to take coral from the ocean. You know that, right? It's illegal. You can't take coral? Really? No. Oh, no. Didn't know that. Yeah. It's National Running Day. Oh, well. Yeah, not, not our day. Not for me. <laughs> not our day. And the final one, which I know is another one for you, National Pen Pal Day today. Wow. You used to have pen pals. I know this about you. You must Well, have. you know, through school or whatever, but then you'd always get disappointed because they either didn't answer you back or there was – I never had a true pen pal, except my cousin who lived in Queens, and we used to write to each other. I like to think sometimes – that while you were sitting up on the hill at Woodstock. In the rain. In the rain. peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. No, the rain was gone. You woke, oh. no. It was early morning and Jimi Hendrix was playing the national anthem. Wow, and you're that s- must have been something. Right? Think about that. Mm. And there are people alive that could tell you about sitting there listening to Hendrix, waking up to Hendrix play the national anthem. Yes. Candy, right? Yes, yes, yes. And you were you were just waking up, clearing the crust out of your eyes, writing <laughs> writing to your pen pal on the hill at Woodstock while Hendrix was playing the anthem. I know. You have it. a vivid, vivid <laughs> imagination. All right. Here we go. Good news, okay? Okay. A four-year-old boy... And we know this is in the summer. This is terrible. He fell in a pool at an apartment complex in Kansas last month. A neighbor who used to be a lifeguard saved him. The kid was in the water for several minutes, but the guy did CPR, brought him back. The kid is good, Candy. Wow. Some people really just know what they're doing. Amazing. A 78-year-old near L.A., Ted Sams, just got his high school diploma 60 years after finishing high school. Wow. You know, he graduated in 1962, but they wouldn't give it to him because he owed $4.80 for a book that he lost. Oh, I hate when they do that. It happened to me when I graduated from college, and I was like, I don't even care. And my mother said, are you crazy? So she paid my very hefty library fees and got my diploma. Ridiculous. And do you know the school still had the original sitting in an old filing cabinet? I believe it. So he walked across the stage 60 years later, and he had the original diploma. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think we've all been there, or most of us. Yeah. Uh, A chihuahua named Timon and a pig named Pumbaa ended up at a shelter in Arizona last month because their owner got arrested. Oh. Timon... Rides on Pumbaa's back. I can't take it. The sh- this is the Chihuahua on the pig. The shelter refused to split them up. Now they have a permanent home uh, near Phoenix called Better Piggies Rescue. I can't take it. That is isn't that cute. the cutest, adorable, the cutest, cutest, cutest thing I've I've heard in a long time, Candy. Yeah, that um, is adorable. I want you to have a great rest of your day. Oh, I'm gonna have a great day today. Enjoy. Take a nap. There's a nap in your future today. There is a nap in my future. Yeah, check up on your son, Evan. Make sure he's good to go. Life is good over there, and he's all right. And just have a good one, okay? I Uh, shall. And you have a good one as well. Thank you. We are hoping uh, to have a big night at Dublin Deck. We need the rain to— If you say the word hoodie, I'm— Well, depending—you know, it's going to be chilly, so bring a hoodie. Oh, Yankee, Bye. Yankee Rebel performs. We're, uh, you know, we're we're looking at the weather. We're hoping uh, we're good to go. It's going to be a little unsettled today. About 65. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1.
Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.